Hello, and welcome to James Les's Express Lane as we get you now as fast as possible. You can see, demystifying the Call of the Void. What's the Call of the Void? Glad you asked. A lot of you people may have already experienced it without even knowing what it was. You're at the top of a building, like going over like the viewing patio or at the edge of a cliff, and you think to yourself, throw yourself over the edge. Do it. Bet you won't. That is the Call of the Void. Or say you're driving home from work and it's just going through your mind. Turn into that semi. Drive into that semi. Head first into the semi. But of course you don't actually do it because obviously you go, I'm not throwing myself off this cliff. I'm not throwing myself off this viewing patio. I'm not driving into that semi. But that is the call of void. Oh, maybe you're sitting on the roof of a bridge or ledge or any other high place and wondered, what if I jumped? The urge probably came from out of nowhere and disappeared as swiftly as it arrived. Turns out this urge has a name, the call of the void. In French, les pieds du vide. Probably pronounced that wrong, but describes this impulse to hurry someone to, well, avoid. While unnerving, it's actually a pretty common experience. It also has nothing to do with suicidal ideation. In fact, the 2012 study, the only one exploring this phenomenon to date, suggests this urge may have a relatively straightforward scientific explanation. Common examples I already oh, jerked the steering wheel and turned on coming traffic. For me, it's semi. Because now you hit, if I hit a regular car, I'll, I might walk away. Airbags and all that that they are today, I might walk away. So I think semi. Jump into a very deep water from Boulder Bridge, stand on a train or subway tracks. Someone I posted this on Twitter said, yeah, no, I had that thought to myself whenever I got on the subways. Don't jump in front of the subway train. Don't jump in front of the subway train. Carry yourself when holding a knife or other sharp object. Put a metal object into an electrical outlet. Stick your hand to a fire or garbage disposal. When these urges come up, you quickly counter them, telling yourself you'd never do that. You know what would happen if any, if you did any of this, but you still think about doing it. However, quickly the thought passes. Is it normal? Yes. This feeling is both normal and common. The other, the 2012 study found that among 431 students, more than half of those reported never having suicidal thoughts experienced this in some way, shape, or form. About three quarters of those who had previously experienced some kind of sort of suicidal ideation experienced HPP. People with more sensitivity to anxiety symptoms but fewer suicidal thoughts seem more likely to experience HPP. What causes it? Don't really know! They have concluded that it's probably something to do with the wire in your brain. Survival instincts. When you look at the edge of the cliff, and you think to yourself, jump off. What your brain told you was, back up or don't touch that. The signal happens quickly, and you instinctively back up, perhaps without even realizing why. Then when you think about what happened, you might mistakenly assume the safety warning was actually a desire to jump, or stick your hand in the fire, or drive into a semi, or jump in front of the subway train. Anxiety sensitivity. Why does your brain go there? If you don't really want to die or harm yourself, why would you imagine jumping? That's where anxiety sensitivity may come in. The others found that people with higher anxiety sensitivity or fear of anxiety symptoms are more likely to experience HPP. Anxiety sensitivity often involves things like believing a pounding heartbeat indicates a heart attack, or that panic symptoms mean you may faint or even die. Yikes. But yes, the people that may be more likely to interpret a signal they don't understand as something dangerous. Now, the study doesn't conclusively prove the mechanism of the signaling system, and it had several other limitations. Though the sample of participants was fairly large, all were students, and most were white. It also only looked at one sample, so conducting more research with broader, more diverse groups may offer more supporting evidence. But again, there's only been one study done so far of this. Does it mean anything when it comes down to it? You most likely don't need to feel concerned about experience the call of the void. Remember, you're in good company. A lot of people have the same thoughts and urges, even if they don't say anything about them. In most cases, these thoughts don't have a serious significant meaning. There's no evidence to suggest they play in part any mental health condition or suicidal ideation when they happen on their own and don't cause you to lasting distress. If you feel worried about the possible underlying meanings, consider what your reaction to these thoughts tells you. By stepping away from a window or ledge, by not turning your car into traffic, 
By reassuring yourself you never do those things, you're acting on your desire to keep living. <sighs> so really, it's part of most likely anxiety. You're anxious about something, and that anxiety screws with the wiring in your brain a little bit. So your brain says, hey, back away from that ledge. But your anxiety is like, oh, what? What's that brain? Throw myself into the void? Don't throw yourself into the void. God. The article continues, but I really wanted to just focus on the call of the void because, God, I've been dealing with that lately. Just driving home from Oregon. Hey, there's a semi. Turn into it. You shouldn't walk away from that one. But, of course, honestly, I don't do that. Just like people don't throw themselves in front of subways or stick their hand in the garbage disposal. But it's weird that there's only been one study done, and it was back in 2012. With only 341 people. It's an interesting phenomenon. You'd think they would study it more. Then again, how many studies have been done in ASMR? And that's huge. Like, so it's like, that doesn't exist. What do you mean it doesn't exist? There's entire subsections of YouTube dedicated to this. They made an ASMR commercial for the Super Bowl. But no real big studies. I've heard of people like smaller, not like scientists, whatever, just like, all right, well, I'm going to get a couple people together, talk about ASMR, try to figure out what it is. But I've never heard like, oh, yeah, Stanford University is going to dump $16 million into a study on ASMR to try to figure out what the hell it is. Hmm. I mean, for a long time, I just thought it was normal. I thought everyone got it. So a guy at work was talking about it. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not something normal? No. And while not normal is common, just like Call of the Void. I wouldn't say it's normal, but it's common. A lot of people think it, a lot of people feel it. Like that guy that said, yeah, no, whenever I got on the subway train, just stand on the platform. Don't jump in front of the train, don't jump in front of the train. It's like, not suicidal. Like, I'm not suicidal. I want to live, bitch. I want to live forever. Fuck you guys. Fuck all this. Die young, leave a pretty corpse. I want to live forever. But, just that, drive into the semi, drive into a semi, you won't walk away from that. Or the person will throw themselves for a subway train, or people, hmm, I don't know what happened if I stuck my hand in the garbage disposal. Do it, do it, don't do it. Man. Can you imagine, like, you had that thought, just about to jump out of an airplane for skydiving, like, what if I just take off the parachute? Don't take off the parachute, don't do that, that's bad, that's bad. Take off the parachute. That's bad. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. What do you guys think? Do you guys experience this? If so, how do you experience it? Do you experience like I do? Like, hey, jump in front of a semi. Or when you get on the subway, do you think to yourself, jump in front of a train, jump in front of a train. <laughs> let me know. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.